Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the last candle review of the day. If you missed the first two, I will list and link them in the description box below this video. If you are wondering why I'm uploading a review of a candle that I purchased back in 2017, either of those two videos will explain that to you. But essentially, um, I am finally getting around to burning some candles that I essentially forbade myself from using, lighting up, if you will, um, because I just had this mentality of, oh no, I love it too much, I can't use it. It has to be a really special occasion for me to bust this out. And um, apparently since 2017, <laughs> in my brain, there have been no special occasions that have warranted me lighting up this absolutely beautiful peppered plum, which now that I think back on that, it seems a little, strange for me to um to think that that was like my mentality for so many years i really think that it's important that if you are choosing to enjoy a hobby like home fragrance or whatever your hobby is um and the thing that you enjoy is either consumable whether you know it's food related or consumable in terms of you know using things up like a candle um, I really at this point have embraced just using those things and enjoying them in the moment versus waiting for some special occasion that may d never happen, right? Like, I mean, I could have probably had I not changed my thoughts around this, um, continue to keep this candle in a closet probably for another 10, 15 years. And here's the thing, I could get hit by a bus tomorrow and <laughs> I will have never enjoyed this beautiful peppered plum fragrance in my house. Like, honestly, that would be such a bummer. And this goes for everything in life. Every day that you are alive really is an opportunity to enjoy everything that you own. Um, you know, just use the use the good stuff use the fine china wear the expensive perfume there's no reason to just let it sit um i'm so glad that i'm finally kind of past that point um there is no by the way there is no judgment for me if you are still in that particular mindset um to each their own i just think for me personally i got to a point where i i just got really overwhelmed with the amount of home fragrance that I was having to store. I certainly have not been going through it as fast as I've been purchasing it and that's been going on for a very long time and I need to rein that in. Craig and I are talking a lot more about retirement. We're also talking about um, you know potentially building a house when um, Stella is um, out of high school and so we have some big financial goals and while I'm always going to continue this home fragrance hobby of mine, I've just learned that I need to rein it in just a little bit so that we, we can do those things that we really want to do as a married couple in the future. Um, you know, and th this, there's no pressure from Craig. He's like, do whatever makes you happy. Craig and I both have this approach of whatever our hobbies are we support each other in that you know like you do you and enjoy live your best life but also you know let's both think about the future as well and i think that's really important to obviously have those conversations and that's really what has helped me get past the point of you know needing to purchase 15 or 20 backups of a fragrance that i come across that i just absolutely love there's always going to be another candle <laughs> There's always going to be another scent that I fall in love with. So it's it's OK to just buy one and to burn it and review it if it's new um, and then move on like it's OK to move on. Right. Or if it's still in stock and um, I want another one of that one particular scent, go back in that store, buy one more, use that, you know, just like shop that way, don't stop shopping in bulk. My thing is stop shopping in bulk. All right, you guys, let's get into this black peppered, 
not black peppered, uh, into this peppered plum. Um, I actually just received a comment from Emily Diaz. Hi, Emily. How are you? Um, on my video from this past Saturday, and she actually addressed this particular scent. So I'm kind of excited to actually have a little bit of history around this one. Emily says, I believe peppered plum is a repackage of the 2015 cork and vine version of black cherry Merlot. That OG version of black cherry Merlot was my fave. Ever since that collection, they changed the black cherry Merlot candle to smell like the hand soap version gag. So, <laughs> and then she has a little vomiting emoji. So Emily is probably, uh, not probably, she is obviously not a fan of what black cherry Merlot is now. Um, but I do remember the cork and vine collection because uh, I actually stocked up on the, was it the sparkling Riesling? I, I think it was the, it was called sparkling Riesling, right? It's Riesling something. Anyway, fell in love with that. Bought probably 15 of those. And then <laughs> I ended up getting a little bit tired of it. And so I sold a bunch of those on Mercari back in the day. So I very much remember this cork and vine collection. Um, but I don't remember ever sticking my nose in the black cherry Merlot. And the reason that I think I didn't back then is because in general, cherry is kind of like grape to me in that it's not necessarily my favorite fruity scent. Um, I actually dislike grape even more than cherry. Cherry has to be done in a very certain way for me to really enjoy it. And there have been a couple candles here and there that I have enjoyed, but in general, I tend to stay away from cherry a little bit. So I don't actually remember smelling that black cherry Merlot back in the day. Um, but uh, it apparently this is this was that particular version according to her. So I'm not 100%. If you have contradicting information, definitely let me know down below. But I'm going to go with what Emily's saying here and say that this is um, a repackage of the Black Cherry Merlot from Cork and Vine in 2015. Now I did purchase this one in 2017, so it would make sense. Um, Bath and Body Works is definitely famous for repackaging things and um, changing the names of them. And so, it, you know, sometimes you have to hunt down information on the history of a candle to figure out if it's something that you may have had in the past. So at any rate, I want to, I want to thank Emily for leaving that comment because um, that was very helpful. <laughs> um, but now let's go ahead and I'm just going to review this from the standpoint of this being peppered plum. Um, and then we'll talk strength and throw and we will, we will end this day of reviewing decade old candles. <laughs> All right, the notes here are pretty simple. Sweet plum, fresh saffron spice, and black peppercorn. This is definitely a spicy, perfumey scent for sure. Um, but the fruit that I'm smelling here is very much plum. I don't think that plum and cherry are interchangeable. Um, this very, very distinctly smells like plum to me and not any type of cherry at all. Um, the plum is while it is sweet it is definitely perfumey i don't think it smells uh like a gourmand plum note if you will um it's definitely plum but it's perfumey plum for sure now saffron um saffron is a very expensive spice uh in full disclosure i have never owned saffron uh, actually i was just at costco the other day and they are currently selling saffron in their little spice section it is the tiniest vial that you will ever see in your life and i believe that saffron is just the like flower stamen from is it the crocus i don't think it's the crocus I will have to put like what flower saffron comes from in the description box down below because for the life of me, of course, right now I cannot remember, but it is only, you can literally only pick it for like a very short time of the year and um, the yield is quite small and it's highly sought after. So it's horrifically expensive. <laughs> Again, that little vial I caught, I want to say it was like around 20 bucks. And you maybe had like a couple of uses, maybe a few uses in that little vial. I don't know. Um, 
I've, I've tasted saffron in several, you know, dishes before in the past, but never have really experienced it on its own. Again, because it costs so much, it's just not something that I'm willing to pick up because I, I also suck at cooking. So it would be silly for me to own something like that. Um, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. <laughs> But I do appreciate it in, um, you know, certain dishes. Uh, it is a, a lovely, lovely taste. Um, but the peppercorn, the black peppercorn here is, I think, definitely quite appropriate. This is quite spicy, but again, it's a perfumey spicy. Um, it's just a very kind of exotic scent. I also feel like I get some vibes of maybe like a touch of amber in here and a touch of like a like a very small, small amount of a perfumey patchouli. I'm not talking dirty hippie patchouli. I'm talking like a very high end, like expensive patchouli. <laughs> this is a very perfumey scent, you guys. The base of it is definitely plum. Um, the saffron is in there. The black peppercorn is in there. I also somehow am picking up amber and a touch of patchouli. This is just a very perfumey scent. I really enjoy this fragrance. I don't know if it's the old school version of black cherry Merlot because I didn't get to experience that one myself, but I do know that this is very, very pretty. Um, I would wear this as a personal fragrance if it was in a body spray or in a perfume format. I would 100% wear this. Um, it's really lovely. And if it ever does come back as, I don't know, Black Cherry Merlot or Peppered Plum, I would totally repurchase this. I, I wouldn't buy like eight, but I would repurchase one. <laughs> And I would probably honestly keep it for the month of January because this has been so lovely and such a great change of pace from the heavy, you know, tree scents from the holidays, from the heavy gourmands from December. So this is just a totally different vibe. I've really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to have finally gotten to a place where I think I'm worthy of being able to light this candle that I probably only paid like nine or 10 bucks for anyway. Like, why, why am I keeping a $9 candle for years? Just burn it, burn the candles. Use the fine china, do the stuff, you know? Just enjoy your life. Because <laughs> again, uh, I could get hit by a bus tomorrow and I would be, I'd be bummed, you know, thinking about all of the candles that, that I didn't use. <laughs> Just because I didn't think there was a special enough occasion. Anyway, let's talk strength and throw. Solid eight. Solid eight out of 10 for both strength and throw. I don't know if it's because it's been marinating in a closet for many years or if it would have been this strong from the get-go, but she's an awesome performer. I'm not having any issues with puny wick syndrome. I'm not having any issues with sooting or discoloration. And we are definitely just past the halfway point here and it's doing great. Um, I, yeah, I wish that all of my Bath & Body Works candles would burn as good as the three that I reviewed today. If Bath & Body Works got back to that, I might be willing to pay like, and, and well, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay $16.95. That's the, that was the sale from this past weekend, which is wild, absolutely not. <laughs> but I would probably pay like, you know, $12.95 without a coupon. <laughs> I would definitely do that, but much more than that now. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't think that Bath and Body Works are worth a whole lot more than that, regardless of the scent. But anyway, this is delightful. Um, yeah. Have you burned peppered, uh, peppered plum? What are your thoughts? Leave them down below. I really appreciate you guys being here today and humoring me with these very old candles. Um, it feels good to have finally gotten through them and I look forward to burning more in my collection that I just normally tend to hoard. So I have many more candles to get through and um, who knows, maybe you'll see some more <laughs> ancient reviews coming up in the next few months. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.